Um, I just got back. I was on vacation. I went home uh, to the East Coast. Yeah. yeah, East Coast. I went to college in New York, so I visited there. Any New Yorkers in the house? <laughs> I got. That's a little weak for New Yorkers. You were like, fuck yeah, Statue of Liberty. No, no one goes there if you're from New York. Fuck that. Uh, but I gotta say, I miss it. I miss New York so much. You know, like the little things, like walking down the street. I hear a cat call. It's like, thank you. Right? It is nice to get a little validation, you know? I'm gonna stick my ass out a little further. Because you know what? We don't get that in LA. Do you notice that? People don't cat call as much. Maybe it's because we're not walking around, we're driving everywhere. But also, it's because everyone's so fucking hot. <laughs> no one's impressed. No one is impressed with me in my pink Converse and matching watch. It matches. Thank you. you know, it's like you're walking down the street, there's always gonna be someone taller, blonder, faker, right next to you, and she's probably 75, you know? It's like, get it, girl, good for you, but that sucks for me. I mean, I don't know, you could've been the hottest thing in your old town. You know, like, I'm from Maine, yeah, and I was hot shit in Maine. <laughs> yeah, let me tell you, like, three things walking down the street, I was always the hottest, because the other two were cows. <laughs> Literal cows, I'm not talking about, like, big Maine women, I'm talking about cows. Also, I have all my teeth, so that right there is like an eight, at least. <laughs> but, man, like, you could have been the hottest thing in your old town, there should be a sign warning you when you get off the plane at LAX, when you move out here, it should say, welcome to LA, your tens, our two. Get used to it. <laughs> That's just how I feel. It's the truth, you know? But I don't work on it. I found some uh, solutions. Sometimes if I'm having a rough day, you know, it'll pick me up, I'll Google the nearest construction site, you know? Get some booty shorts and take a lap. <laughs> no, I think I love a good cat call. You do have to wonder, what possesses a guy to cat call? You know, think about it, like what response does he honestly think that he's gonna receive? You know? Because I'm like, I'm walking down the street, it's like, I see you, Mr. Construction Worker, with your beer gut, your plumber's crack, and those pack of Marlboro Reds. And I was gonna walk right past. But then, you demonstrated your incredible whistling abilities. And you know what? I think I will go for a ride in your excavator. Yeah, totally call me, right? You can't say that. You can't say that because then you're just a crazy desperate chick. I mean, I am, but still, no. I, like, you can't say that. You're walking down the street. You gotta do something like, so you hear a cat call, and it's like, hey, fuck you. But thank you. Walk down the street, hey, don't disrespect me. I'll be here tomorrow. With my high heels, please, I need this. <laughs> oh, God. Um, so after New York, I went to Maine, where I'm from, visited some family. Uh, saw my sister there, and she has two kids, uh, which are my, obviously, niece and nephew. Does anyone here have kids? No, it's LA. <laughs> yes, woo, yeah, kids. Uh, but you for real have them? Like actual children, not dogs? <laughs> oh, God. We got some kids. <laughs> um, anyways, I went to see my sister, and she's concerned because my six-month-old nephew is not sleeping through the night yet. I guess that's something kids are supposed to do by then. I don't know. I don't really, you know, whatever. Uh, but I was there for a week, and I figured out what it was. It wasn't the bedtime routine. It wasn't the diapers. It wasn't the bottle. What was keeping my nephew up was my fucking sister. Yeah. She puts him to bed. Good night. Mommy loves you so much. Mommy loves you to death. Mommy loves you to death. It's like, no wonder the kid fucking wakes up screaming in the middle of the night, right? Do you, do you notice that it's socially acceptable for people to say horrible things to children? Like, just weird, I never really noticed it. And then I was walking my nephew down the street in a stroller, and some woman comes up and she's like, oh my God, he is adorable. I'm just gonna put him in my pocket and take him home with me. I'm just gonna take him home. That would be kidnapping. Please do not abduct the child, right? And someone else comes up, oh my God, he is so cute. I could eat him right up. I could eat him right up. I know that children get a bad rep, but I'm sorry if someone 18 times my size told me they were gonna eat me right up, I'd shit my pants too, right? Seriously. And then my niece, that's a whole other story. She's four, she's in the phase where she's just learned how to give kisses. 
and it's like super cute. Everyone thinks they applaud her for her kisses, you know, like, give, give Aunt Kelly a kiss, give the puppy a kiss, everybody claps. They're rewarding her for, you know, this behavior. And my sister, I feel like, is gonna wake up 18 years from now and wonder why her daughter's a whore. 